The idea of cutting out meat from my diet doesn't daunt me at all. The idea of cutting out cream and butter from my diet horrifies me. Veganism is on the rise, so I'm here today with Vivehi to show how I can make delicious and animal-friendly changes to my diet. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Vivehi, you were a vegetarian for over 20 years, and now you've become a vegan. How did this come about? So I was a vegetarian for 20 years, and that was due to religious restrictions. And then I decided to take it up a notch further and follow a vegan diet, and that was to totally cut out dairy from my diet. And that was more in line with the principle that I do follow and that is Ahimsa. What is Ahimsa? So Ahimsa is following the principles of non-violence which fits in perfectly with the principles of veganism. What are we cooking today? Today I'm going to be making some idlis. I love idli, yay! And after that I will be making some dosas. How do we start? So when we make idlis we're going to actually use three cups parboiled rice, one cup white rice and two cups of buddha dal. We leave that to soak overnight and once that has soaked we take that strain it and then we grind it in a food processor and this is what Ooh. we get so when we grind that we need to leave it to ferment overnight that's okay. exactly what we need what i have here is idli plates which i have actually pre-oiled what we're going to do now is just take a good scoop and place it in here we don't want to overfill this because okay. they will be rising okay okay zach we're just going to snap that can you please pass me the holder right so what we want to do is just place little air vents here mm -hmm. that will allow the steam to pass through. So this is actually just keep the plates in place. Okay, and now we're just going to pop this into the pressure cooker. I've actually added some boiling water to this here and I've got a little tray in there. So here we're just going to steam this for 20 to 30 minutes. How do we make the chutney? You can just start by putting on the stove for me on medium heat. So I'm going to be adding in some oil. I'm just adding one tablespoon because I don't like to use too much of the oil. Then I have some mustard seeds which I will be adding in when the oil is nice and hot. We want that nice crackling sound, that popping sound. And now we have some cumin seeds and the asafoetida. Then we're going to add our curry leaves. When we're looking for flavor, we would add it to hot oil. And if we're looking for fragrance, we would add it towards the end of the meal, which I do at times. What a great tip. So once the mustard seeds have popped and the leaves have splattered, we're going to add our onion to this. Then we're just going to break a chili in there or two because we want this nice and hot. And we just let this cook down for a bit. Okay, now I'm going to add in some chili powder, coriander powder, and a bit of turmeric. Garlic and ginger. And then give it a nice good stir again. Finally, we're going to add in the tomatoes. I'm using canned tomatoes. I just think they add brilliant color and a good richness to this chutney. There we go. At the same time, we're just going to add in some salt and a pinch of sugar. <laughs> okay, Zach, while this simmers, let us just pop this open take that out. We're just going to let this cool for about 5 to 10 minutes throughout all the plates. Right. Okay, we're going to be giving this a bit of a stir and then we're going to be grinding it. And for this, I need a bowl. Zaka, okay, can you please pass me um, the pot to just tilt it over for me and we're just going to toss this nicely in. Chutney is now done. Mm. Right, now we're gonna just try and gently scoop these out of the tray. Is that now we're just gonna scoop in some chutney? Or oh, as much as you like. Oh. And then we're gonna just gently place these and to pretty all this up. We're just gonna add a piece of coriander. And that's it. That smells divine.